हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू एविएशन ए टू जेड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट हैव आस मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन मॉड्यूल सेवन सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू मेक इट फाइनली गाइस आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर दैट आई हैव नॉट क्लियर दिस मॉड्यूल एंड आई विल टेल यू वाई बट माई फ्रेंड्स हैव क्लियर इट एंड बाय टॉकिंग विद दैम एंड माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव मेड दिस कम्प्लीट वीडियो सो लेट एस गेट स्टार्ट In this video we will see number 1 importance of module 7 number 2 module 7 marks according to categories and topics number 3 reference books for module 7 number 4 reference books according to sub modules number 5 sub module wise mark distribution number 6 how to prepare for module 7 and finally some additional things to clear module 7 so watch this video completely to get real information and knowledge Module seven is one of the most important module for AME fit person, as its name clearly states, maintenance practices. That is, it completely deals with maintenance activities performed on aircraft and some standard safety precautions to work efficiently in working environment. So, study it as knowledgeable module and not just other modules. Surely, it will help you in the field and in your working life. There are two division in module seven. Number one, seven A and seven B. The seven A is for category A, B one, and B two, while seven B is for category B three. Now we will see mark distribution for seven A, and is as follows: for category A, it's seventy two marks, and you will get ninety minutes. For category B, it's eighty marks, and you get hundred minutes. For category B two, it's sixty marks, and you get seventy five minutes to solve all the question. For seven B, category B three, it is sixty marks. Now let us see topics that is submodel applicability for category A, B1 and B2. For category A you need to study submodel 7.1, 7.2 and 7.3 as level 3. While 7.5, 7.6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 20 level 1. While for level 2 you need to study 7.17, 18 and 19. Talking about category B1 You need to study all 20 sub module and its level are as follows. The level 3s are 7.1, 7.2, 3, 7 and 18. While remaining all are level 2. Now talking about category B2, you need to study sub module 7.1, 2, 3, 4, 7 and 18 as a level 3. While 7.5, 15, 16, 17, 19 and 20 as level 2. And at last You will have 7.6 as level one. Now this is the most important question: from where to study all these sub modules, and how many books we need to refer to clear module seven? First of all, according to DGCA, there are 29 different books to be studied for module seven. This is the list of books suggested by DGCA. From any of this book, they can ask questions. But don't worry. After analyzing thousands of questions and reading multiple books, we have reached to conclusion that only few books are important. As it's not possible to read complete books, we will tell you which topic you need to refer in that book of Model Seven. So watch this video till end and subscribe and hit the like button to motivate us. The following are most general and important books for clearing Model Seven. Number one, Yasa Tech Book. For Model Seven, Number Two, CIP One and Two, Number Three, Fire Nine A Oil and New, Number Four, Shop Theory, Number Five, Titan, Number Six, Yasmin, Number Seven, Yasa Textbook for Model Six, Number Eight, Lalit Gupta, and Finally, Fire Fifteen A. These ten to twelve books are common books from which ninety percent, more than ninety percent of question asked in exam, and read them thoroughly. So always keep this book in one book folder of your mobile or PC because it will help you a lot. Throughout your preparation and revision stage. Moving ahead, let's see. Whether it's category A, B2, or B2, irrespective of categories, follow these books for following sub modules. For sub module one, refer Yasa Textbook sub module one, Shop Theory Chapter two, CIP two AL three dash ten. For sub module 2 refer shop theory chapter 5 page 95 it's very important if you have time then go through chapter 1 as it will tell you all the precaution and machine tool safety For sub module 3 refer Yasa textbook sub module 3 shop theory chapter 3 4 7 and 
FIFA Far 9 in New Chapter 9 and CIP 1 BL 3-4 and 3-5. It's very important. For Submodule 4, refer Yasmin Chapter 8, 14, 15 and 16. Also go through Yasa Techbook Submodule 4. It's also important. And finally go through EHA Palette Chapter 15. For Submodule 5, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 5, Far 9A Chapter 2 in both new and old one. CIP 1 BL 1-4 In Submodule 6, Yasa Techbook Submodule 6 is very important. Then go through Shop Theory Chapter 5, page 95. If you have time, then go through CIP 1, BL 3-1 and 3-2. For Submodule 7, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 7, Lalit Gupta EVs, Yasmin Chapter 4, and finally Far 15A Chapter 9 from 9.65 till 9.96. For Submodule 8, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 8 and CIP 1, BL 6-29. If you have time, then refer Yasa Techbook of Module 6 Submodel 5 Fastener. In that also refer 5.27 to 5.46. For Submodel 9, refer Yasa Techbook Submodel 9, Far 9A New Chapter 7, Far 9A Oil Chapter 5. If have time, then refer CIP 1 BL 6 15. For Submodel 10, refer Yasa Techbook Submodel 10, Mod 6 Yasa Techbook Submodel 7. Refer Titterton to answer the question on materials of spring from page number 33. 39, 40, 81, 56, 61, 121, 125, 126, 129, 130, 134, 142, 259, and 386. This many pages contain spring properties and materials. For Submodule 11, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 11, CIP 1 BL 6 14, Lalit Gupta Bearing Chapter is important. Titerton, page 39, 142, 143, and 386 are important pages. For Submodule 12, refer Shop Theory Chapter 16, Lalit Gupta Gare Chapter, and CIP 2 AL 3 2. For Submodule 13, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 13, CIP 1 BL 6 24, and Yasa Techbook Mod 6 Submodule 10. For Submodule 14, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 14, Titerton, Ferrous, Non Ferrous, and Composite Material. From Yasa Techbook 6, refer Submodule 3. Some important questions can be asked, so read them thoroughly. For Submodule 15, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 15. It's very important. CIP 1, BL 6 1, 2, 4, 5, 12, and 16. These are very important chapters. Then, for Submodule 16, refer Yasa Techbook Submodule 16. Again, it's very important. Then, go through Far 9A New Chapter 4, Far 9A All Chapter 3. It's very important. And for Submodule 17, go through Yasa Submodule 17, Far 9A Old and New Chapter 11. CIP2, GOL 1-1, 1-2, and AL7-12. For Submodule 18, CIP1 from BL8-1 to 8-9. It's very important topic. Also refers Yasa Techbook Submodule 18. For Submodule 19, refer Yasa Submodule 19, CIP2, AL7-1, FAR 15A Chapter 2, Wing Rigging Check. And finally, Submodule 20, Yasa Submodule 20, and Far 9A Chapter 12 New One. Oof! Finally, that completes the books according to submodule. Still, I cannot cover all important books, but these are very important books to be studied for Module 7 submodules, according to me and my friends who have cleared it in the first attempt. Here's a round off of question asked in submodules. For submodule 1, you will get 2 to 3 questions. For submodule 2, 1 to 2 questions. For submodule 3, 5 to 7 questions. For submodule 4, 3 to 4 questions. For submodule 5, you will get 2 to 3 questions. For submodule 6, 4 to 5 questions. For submodule 7, 3 to 5 questions. Submodule 8, 2 to 3 questions. For submodule 9, you will get 3 to 5 questions. For submodule 10, you will get 4 to 5 questions. Submodule 11, 4 to 5 questions, submodule 12, 2 to 4 questions, submodule 13, 5 to 6 questions, submodule 14, you will get 6 to 8 questions, submodule 15, 5 to 7 questions, again for submodule 16, you will get 5 to 7 questions, submodule 17, you get 3 to 4 questions, 18 is most important, 10 to 12 questions, 19, 4 to 5 questions, and finally 20, 3 to 5 questions. There are some questions unknown to us, but it's round off around 
4 to 5 questions per session usually. Let's see how to prepare for module 7. We all know the importance of module 7, books to study and important topics. So let's begin the preparation. Usually module 7 takes around 3 to 4 months to completely study, revise and gain confidence while solving questions but it can definitely vary from person to person. Module 7 is vast subject and it should be studied and revised simultaneously. Tip number 1. Start with topics you already know. Module 6 contains some topics, to be precise 6 topics which is similar in Mod 7. Yes, it's little bit in advance but usually same topics. Topics include ferrous, non-ferrous and composite materials, fluid line and fittings, bearings, gears, control cables, corrosion, springs and electrical cables and connector. So you can easily understand it and revise it in Mod 7. Now we left with 14 sub-modules in Module 7. Out of that, sub-module 1 and 2 are least important. Remember, we need to segregate topics according to preferences and its value. Out of 12 remaining topics, some are really interesting. So study and like this, we can actually make the schedule for the topics. Tip number 2. Make quick and short notes. Why there is so much importance of notes? Because notes help us to revise everything within short span of time. I failed in module 7 because I have not made a short notes of all important topics. It's one of the reason and if you are failing then start making notes. There is some other things which I have discussed in our video. How to cope up with failure in DGC exam. Surely it will help you so please check it out. Tip number 3. Read, solve, write and revise. These 4 steps will definitely help you in clearing your module. Not only module 7 but other as well. When we read for first time, we cannot understand everything, but we must read and then solve all the previous questions available to you and asked in exam. And after solving question, we can get idea of how the question is framed and which is more important to memorize. So immediately write it down and you are all set. But we start forgetting things. So for that, refer notes and revise every important topics you have read and written. This is how you can achieve success in any module exam. And I follow it, my friends follow it. But for Model 7, because of its vastness, I cannot completely wrote important notes and I failed by 2 marks. Whatever, but I want you all to not commit the same mistake and clear it in first attempt. Tip number 4. Be confident and ask the question. Remember, it's very crucial to have positive confidence and confidence on yourself. That yes, you are ready for it and how it will be known that you are confident you can know it by telling your friends and colleagues to ask you a question. And it's alright if you don't know all the answer. But whenever you have wrongly answered, you will not repeat that mistake in exam. Me and my friends, few days before exam and while preparing for it, do it. And so far we have achieved 90% of good results. And you can do the same and achieve the same results. Last but not least, tip number 5. Listen to gut feeling and mark it once. I know I may be wrong but there is always a gut feeling and inner voice who tries to give you the best solution to that problem and it works. Whatever people call it, I call it braining. It's always in your brain but it comes out pop up and you hit the mouse and many times it gets right. Why I call it braining because you have studied it somewhere or listened it while attending lectures and yes you can hit the right option. But when you are not sure of any option, don't change it. Usually it can go wrong as we were not sure and we change it. Similar thing happened to me. I changed 3 options out of 80 marks and unfortunately 2 of them went wrong and I failed. Never mind, it could have gone wrong but yes, if I haven't changed it then I could have cleared the module 7. You must remember all this point and tips so that you can clear your module in first attempt and it should be your main goal. So study well, study hard as well as smart. If you found these tips helpful then give it a like and subscribe the channel to stay updated about upcoming videos. Moving to final phase of this video. Model 7 is actually a combination of Model 3, 5, 6, 10 and 11. I have seen few questions asked from these modules in Model 7 as some topics were similar. Finally, talking about some good news, as per the previous year questions and my session question, I have seen that there is repetition of questions and the percentage is almost 50%, sometimes more than that. So yes, it can vary from session to session, but there is repetition of question in module exam. But you must verify it in book and highlight it. Read the whole paragraph and believe in your knowledge. 
I hope all these things which I have mentioned will help you in module 7 and other modules. After almost researching for one week and collecting data, I have created this video. So wish you all good luck for module examination and every deserving candidates can clear their module exam. With that, I will end this video. Wait, if you are still watching, here is your bonus. I don't have much material for module 7, but still I will try to share some important questions, PDFs, which will help you in clearing module 7. Apart from this, today will be double bonus. It's Diwali and Eid, so double module notes. Module 6 note is also included in description of this video. Soon, we will be completing our 100 video. It will be a gift to our viewer, so stay tuned. Finally, thanks for watching. See you in another video with another interesting topic. Till then, keep learning, keep watching, stay safe. Jai Hind.